it, it sits in a spring of warm water. Actually, it's not warm, it's hot. Hamia. Hot, very hot, boiling water. What make your prophet say in such a thing? This is a legend. People believe that Alexander the Great, you know, not believe actually, this is a fiction story written by somebody from Syria about Alexander the Great. That he went here and he went there and things happened to him. You're a prophet, he did the story, he put it in his Quran. So basically the Hadith is tell, you know, simply telling us the farthest point of the earth that the sun reaches and it says uh, mm. the furthest point is, is to a particular shore, a uh, body of water, mm. um, and it's a hot, basically a hot spring. Uh, this doesn't negate that it can't be an area of an ocean. So you can find this in Fatul Bari as well, you can find uh, it in, uh, in nice many you, places. Fatal. Okay, let's, let's, let's see. Is it, does it say that he found near to it people who live there? Does it say that until he reached the city of the sun? Does it say That's that? separate. You, you're conflating two two different things. This is talking about the hadith is talking about something else, and no, the this is about, is talking about it's um, exactly the same statement. Muhammad says, "Ainun Hamia." Your prophet Quran saying the same. Ainun Hamia. It's the same thing, and he found he keep walking, walking until. When he reached the sitting of the sun, sitting what? Sitting place of the sun, correct? If you don't like this translation, we can change it. The sitting place of the sun. Do you agree? Is it the sitting place uh, of the sun or not? The disappearing. So I would say the trans okay. good trans okay, read it. translation would be that it disappears. Okay, read it. Would disappear? No. It says until he reached the sitting place of the sun. Yeah. Okay. So it's a place where the sunset. Do we agree? So, so when we say sunset, you know, when we say sunset, does the sun actually set? It doesn't set. See, no, 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 no. Listen, he keep walking. This guy is going for years in a trip. This is not one night trip. He walking, 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 and finally he arrive where the sun place of sitting is. Otherwise, my friend. I see the sun setting every day, even if I'm not moving my chair, correct? The sun set yeah, everywhere in the world. He, he, yeah, but he doesn't say he's been walking to a thousand years just to find this. No, he, he it says, says he, no, he, it he says that. No, it says this. that. Here we go. He's describing he, this. No, no, it says that. Read carefully. He, so he followed away. Do you see it? Don't say, did not say that. He followed away. He changed direction. And then, until. So he keep going, keep going, keep going until he reached the sitting place of the sun. So Alexander the Great, his trip was for many years. Actually, he did not go back to his country. So he keep going, no, keep going, keep going. The, 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 point, the point I'm making is that he's, he's not looking for this. It's something that he, uh, he came across and then he found people near it. And then no this problem. is description no of problem. it. So but he, is the one who say, who, so even if you are at the beach, you see the sun setting and it looks like... This is not the, what we are a, talking about. Listen, 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 water. listen. Okay. So are you saying to me, Alexander the Great, he found the beach finally? Is that the point? Well, he live in Rome. And in Italy is a is a is a is surrounded by beaches. It's actually all of Italy is an island. That means he did not know to go anywhere. But here it says he found he found he found until he reached the sitting place of the sun. What is the sitting place of the sun? He reached it. Where is that? I don't even. You must have seen it. Or? No, what's seen it? And by the way, who is the one is talking? Is that is Alexander the Great or Allah talking now? So Allah, Allah is saying this. Mm. Allah is telling us uh, what He saw. Allah, He told us what He saw, and what He saw. Or he, uh, Allah, He told us what He saw or what He found. He yeah, found so. It's, okay. It's, it's, when we know, say it's found, not... is a find is a fact or it's a fiction? We say the word found. Wajadaha. You speak Arabic. I speak Arabic. Wajada shay. He found it. Right. Athara alayhi. Yeah. Okay. So He found something. So this is what he found, and Allah is saying he agree with his, what he found. So he found that sitting. Who is talking? Allah. Allah did not say he thought the sun setting. He said he found it. Yeah, he found it. So the, okay, like obviously it's setting, Do, isn't it? All right, he found it setting in a spring of muddy hot water. 
Yeah, okay. that's how I looked at him. All right. How in the world he found such a find? Is is he? What is he? How, where, is, where is the where is the hot water where the sun goes in the spring of hot water? Where is that? Um, wherever wherever it's like a lot of heat, you can find the you can find obviously the the sea is going to be hot and um, what hot? It says Ainin Hamia. It's a spring of water. It's not even an ocean. Ainin Ham Ain 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 Ainuma. Huh? The yeah, spring, yeah. Okay, the, the word I mean is spring, spring of water. This is not the ocean. So stop yeah. stop going and speaking about the ocean. This is not about ocean. It's a spring of hot water. So there's no way he thought it is a spring of hot water and it goes in that spring. Yeah. Okay. So how this is can be true? Why was what's the problem with it? Do the suns? Uh, what do you mean? Where is that? Uh, where where is that spring of water where the sun goes in it? What do you mean? What's the problem with it? Have you ever heard of such yeah. a spring of water, hot water, the sun go in it? Yeah, the sun doesn't um, physically go in it. It's just uh, visually you see this. Okay, happening. what is the visually? He saw a spring of water, and he visually he saw the sun sitting in that spring. Yeah. How this happened? Yeah. How this happened? How in the world oh, a spring of water can contain the sun? How is and why Allah is saying to us such a stupid thing? Let us say I am a person who saw something not true. Allah is saying to me, He found the sitting place of the sun, which means He's confirming my find, agreeing with it, and He found near it, near what? Near where the sun set, people, which means now it's not, not only confirming the place, confirming people who live next to the place where the sun set, which is a block black muddy water correct yeah okay where is that spring of water where people live next to it and the sun set in it um, I, don't, I don't know the location do Allah know the location you think of course okay let us see Allah of course you know okay and then we will see that your your, your God he says and then he changed his di the direction correct and then he keep going, keep going until he come to the rising place of the sun. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. So Allah is saying that he have two direction. One all the way where the sun set and the other one where the sun rise. He found next to it. He found it rising on people who have Allah provide them no shelter. Okay. Where is that location where the sun rise and there's people next to it, next to the where the sunrise? As I know, sunrise everywhere. Yeah, this is like he went to the furthest part of east and um, and west. Okay, but it says here he until hatta baliga matli ashams. He found where the sunrise. This is a location where the sunrise. So what the verse here is saying that there is a place where the sun is coming from. The sun rise everywhere, but there's a place where the sun rise from and then rise in the top of the rest of the earth. That's what it says. Hatta idha baliga matli ashams until he came to the rising place of the sun. It's where rising place, otherwise the sun rise everywhere. But here there's a rising place, which means this is a station. So what the Quran teaching that there's a station where the sun sleep. And there's a station where the sun rise from. Correct? Um, no, it doesn't seem like that's the does, does it say the word, okay. Does it say the rising place? Does it say the word place? Yeah, but in the Arabic it doesn't say Makan. No, it says that Hatta Balaga Matli Ashams. It's a correct translation. And he arrived. To the place Matli Ashams until that place he are So he arrived to it. He reached it. Where where the sun rise from? He found it rising. So he repeat that twice. So the translation is really accurate. So he until he keep going, keep going, keep going, until he found where the sun place rise from. He found it.
What do you say? It seems like a description to me. Seems like description. For sure, it's description. Description what he found and where it is, but nobody knows. Then he found another fiction story. Then he found he followed another direction. And then he found people between two mountains. And those people, they said to him, please build for us a dam between us and people of Gog and Magog. Do you believe in the story of Gog yep. and Magog? Yep, yep, the two nations. Okay, those Gog and Magog yep. is one nation or two nations? Two nations. Okay, are they in one side or in two sides? Uh, what do you mean? Okay. I will draw for you. Yeah, we have to draw what we can do. Here we have two mountains. Well, what's the verse? Can I? I want to check here. Though. This is the chapter of the cave. You can read it. From, you can read 91, 92, 93. So there's two mountains. Those are two mountains. Okay. And here, where is Gog and Magog? Where is Gog are located? Where is Magog? Let me let me color this section here with a brown. Where is Gog and Magog located? Let us make it thick. Do you see my screen? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Where is Gog located? Gog first. Uh, let me read the verse. It says, until when he reached a uh, uh, pass between two mountains, he found beside them a people who hardly understand his speech. They said, oh, uh, don't call me. Indeed, yeah, you are cryptos in the land. So, we, so maybe a sign for you an expenditure uh, to make a barrier. Um, so he doesn't say where they are. He okay. doesn't say it's in between. Okay, but Gog and Magog, are they living in one place together? Uh, they, I don't know. He doesn't say anything. Okay, but okay. They ask him. I will go with you. They ask him to build a dam between them and Gog and Magog. Do you agree? Yeah, build that barrier. Okay. So if we say now that those people are from this side, let us say here we have a human. Let us type the word or letter H. Here we have the human. Human. Okay, from the other side we have Gog and Magog. Gog and Magog. They are from the other side. Do you agree? Um, don't know, they might be together. Well, he built a dam between them, right? He built a dam between the human and Gog and Magog, correct? So he said, bring me sheets of iron until when he had leveled between the two mountain walls. Hmm. So yeah, he made two walls. Hmm. So he built a dam between the human and Gog and Magog. Do you agree? Yeah, so he did something like that. Okay. Now, how that would stop Gog and Magog from coming to us? In order to believe in this, we have to believe that the earth is a flat and this dam spread all the way to the edge of the earth from two sides and they cannot come to us because this is the only way to come. Or you have to agree that the mountains, those two mountains are not strong in the earth and building a dam does not make any difference. They can go around it. So, so he, he, he obviously used molten copper. Um, he also, the, the whole purpose of, of him doing that was to prevent them to... Correct, um, to prevent them from coming uh, to the human. Okay, and your prophet, he claimed that uh, those the Gog and Magog, they are digging in the soil, right? Every day, they are digging in the soil, trying to get out. And according yeah. to your prophet, one thousand one of them can make one thousand baby before he die, which means the number of those Gog and Magog is crazy. So if we are now seven or eight billions, the people of Gog and Magog should be like maybe trillions. Yet we cannot find one of them 
yet we cannot find where the land is they are a huge number and they use sword and shield which means they are like they look close yeah, to can us. you can you show me that these about the huge number i haven't, I haven't come across it mm -hmm. you never came across it yet no not the number like this uh, multi-tank Okay, we can let us save this uh, beautiful paint made by Picasso and we will go to see the hadith. All right. You've been here for like three hours, are you not tired? Huh? Have you been here for about three hours, are you not tired? So what? The Lord, he provide me with strength, my friend. Here we go. Read with me. Muhammad, he claimed, and during the time, but let us go first. Uh, uh, the, the hadith you asked me about, the one, uh, 1,000. Um, all right. You know Arabic, right? Um, a little bit. Okay. It says here. And hadith and Ibn Mas'ud, etc. And Juja wa Ma'juja aqalla ma yutrak wa ahadahum bisulbihi alfun min adhurriya. One nisai, etc. Okay. So each one of the Gog and Magog will leave behind him 1,000 baby before he die. All right? See it? And this is page number uh, 114. In the book of Fath al-Bari, fi sharh Sahih al-Bukhari. So yes, it is one thousand. The numbers actually we can find it in the Bukhari, but I need to look more. But this is enough. Now, if we go back back to Gog and Magog, your prophet saying that those people they are behind the dam, and they every day uh, they are trying to dig. And actually, Muhammad he claimed that in his time. The people of Gog and Magog, they open little hole, like in the size of his finger. Correct? Yeah. Okay. So now those people who they are, digging in that wall, which is made from iron and copper, and they are huge in number. And the barrier is the one making them not to be able to come to us. How this barrier will function, as I said to you. If the earth is not flat, I build a barrier from here. They can go from the other direction and come back to us. They can go around the mountain. They can climb the mountain, not necessarily the dam. Maybe the dam, it's impossible because maybe it's a flat wall. What about climbing the mountain and coming from the top of the mountain down? How do you believe in such a story? Uh, it must have been some, some uh, special body. Yeah, actually, their ears, they are, they are those Gog and Magog people, they can sleep in their right ear. Their ear is like a tent. Hmm? Their ear is like a tent. They sleep inside their right ear. Now, I'm asking, oh, focus with me about the, the, the Gog and Magog. The Gog and Magog, who they are huge by number. Hmm? Yeah. Where we can find them and why we could not find one of them until now and they are behind a dam and There is people who believe live there in the front of that dam So we did not find the people who live in the front of the dam and we did not find the people who live behind the dam What do you say? By Allah's permission he, he hid them. He hid No, them, uh, not by Allah's permission he's, he's, uh, people, they know them. They, the human being they live uh, next to them so they know them. Where is the human being? They saw those people. Nobody. They must have died by now. Where? So the people that live there. Huh? People who live I there. The people that live there, they might have died by now. By now. Okay, but about their children, they have children. You know, you, you die, you have your children. And the children of the Gog and Magog are just next few meters away. This is a long time ago in history. Doesn't so, matter. Yeah, long time. Doesn't matter, but yeah. they still exist until now, right? So, Gog and Mago, did they die? No, no, they exist. Okay. And there is a dam which is stopping them from coming, right? Yeah. Okay. And the dam is made from iron and copper, correct? Yeah. 
Well, iron and copper, they, they rust. Both. Yeah, but this was uh, by Allah, Allah gave him power to do this. What power? It's a, it says iron and copper. How iron and copper can survive? So, uh, Dhul Qarnin said, this is mercy from our Lord. Did he make the dam from copper and iron, yes or no? Yeah. Okay. Iron and copper, they rust. Correct? That's the general nature of it, but if Allah wants, he can make it. Uh, okay, I'll go with you. So Allah, he kept the dam until now, correct? Yeah. Okay. Where we can find the dam? Who have trillions of people of Gog and Magog behind. We can't find it. Why? That's the that's uh, that's what Allah wants. So Allah hide them from us. Exactly. Ah, this is not because it's a fiction story, stupid stories. Muhammad, he, you know, he 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 like what people say about it. It's true story. It's a, yeah, it's a true story. So Allah, will, uh, he they will come out eventually. Um, mm. but right now they're hidden from us. Okay, your prophet he says that people of Gog and Magog. In the, before the judgment day a sign of the judgment day they will shoot at you and the Muslim they will use their arrows for fuel or because from wood for seven years do you agree with that so whatever the prophet said he spoke the truth okay but they are using arrows they will in the judgment day they will be using arrows Yeah, that's a possibility we could go okay, back into so those the people, dark ages. Okay, so those people, they are going to attack us with arrows, but now we have nukes. Yeah, like, like I said, we can go back into the dark ages, that's a possibility as well. No, 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 he's saying in the judgment day, this is in the future, they will attack us with their arrows, and your prophet says that they will, uh, you know, uh, they will shoot their arrows at you, and you will use their arrows for seven years. Yeah. Hmm. How come they how come they can be controlling the whole earth except the city of Mecca and Medina, but yet they are using arrows. So they are going to conquer the Russian by arrows and the American by arrows. Yeah, so uh, what I'm saying is if the, if you go back to the dark ages, we won't have these um, advanced weaponry and stuff and all this. So this uh, that's a possibility as well. So if that happens, then you will go back to all these um, arrows and horses. Hmm. But this is the question. Our prophet is prophesying about the future, the judgment day. Saying that yeah. they will be using, I know at that time they used those, no, no, no problem. But we are talking about the future, the judgment day will happen when those people attack us with their arrows. But at that time already we have nukes, we have weapon beyond imagination. So what arrows, how they can conquer us with their arrows? <clears throat> yeah, so so this narration, there's two ways of looking at it. One way is that um, obviously the prophet didn't, uh, like even if the prophet said like nukes and stuff like that, people won't understand it. So he used something that was, uh, uh, used a word that's going to be related to the people uh, so, so they can relate to it and the later people can understand it. Mm. So um, so that's one way of looking at it. The other thing is it could, we could go back to the dark ages where nukes do exist and all these uh, weaponry uh, will not exist. Um, so then in that time, we, we might be using arrows. So there's two ways of looking at it. Mm. To reconcile it. Well, that's an amazing explanation, my friend. Okay. Well, if you want to learn more about those fiction stories, uh, like as an example, your prophets speak about them, that those people they are very good in sex and they can have can sleep with a lot of their females non-stop and they can have a lot of babies and when they talk they talk like wolves Ooh, you know and uh, oh. they have long penis too and um, they have hair in their body they are very hairy uh, but they are they look like a human you know somehow like a human but they have like long nails and they have uh, teeth of uh, uh, lions. I mean, how and and even they have a hump like like uh, camels. So how come we don't see one of them? You said Allah hide them, right? Uh. Hmm. Okay, must be a true story. All right, my friend. Thank yep. you for calling. Thank you. <clears throat> you guys be the judge. This is what Islam is about. Stupid stories. <clears throat>